Okay, so thank you, Henry. So it is a pleasure to be here. Um, so uh, this talk concerns uh, the real-time neighborhood of elliptic curves. So, um, well, before explaining what I mean by this, let me introduce the general framework. Uh, so we are interested in the following situations. So um, C will denote uh, compact complex curves. And we are interested in the holomorphic embedding of C in the uh, uh, holomorphic surface. So everything is regular. Huh? Say U. And in fact, more precisely, we are interesting uh, at the semi-local level. Uh, that means, uh, so we are interested in the understanding of the germ of U along C. Uh, uh, to which this notation refers, or at least in the formal completions of U along C. Uh, so, uh, I should say IC. So, uh, to this M, um, uh, we will introduce the following notations. So, consider um, two different uh, neighbor uh, embedding, sorry, of C i i prime and uh, we'll say that this neighborhood has uh, formally or analytically equivalent there exists uh, uh, isomorphism which is either formal or analytic, which conjugates these two neighborhoods. Uh, uh, which begs the following diagram uh, commutes. Uh, so, first uh, remark that there is an, an obvious uh, uh, formal as well as topological and a fortiori analytic invariance of the embedding, which is the self intersections of the curve, C square. And in this setting, there is natural questions. Uh, uh, that is, uh, ask uh, under what conditions, under, under what simple conditions, uh, uh, the analytic classification, the formal one, is the same. Uh, that is, uh, what are the conditions uh, uh, which guarantee that the formal principle holds? I will denote by FP for short. That is, uh, is there is a simple criterion which uh, ensures that um, uh, there is an uh, analytical equivalence whenever there is a formal one. Uh, in fact, there is a simple criterion which, uh, which has been provided by Groert. Uh, 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 which says that uh, this holds uh, whenever uh, uh, we deal with uh, non-zero type uh, curves, that is, curves with non-vanishing self-intersections.
Okay, but there is also a more precise statement by Groert, which uh, says that uh, um, the things are completely analytically rigid as soon as the, the, the self intersection is uh, sufficiently negative with respect to its uh, genus. Huh? So, more precisely, it is the following statement. So, it concerns curve uh, of a positive genus. <coughs> this says the following, namely that uh, uh, neighborhood of uh, such curve, or germ of neighborhood of such curve, are uh, analytically uh, uh, linearizable, which means they are analytically conjugated to the uh, neighborhood of the uh, zero sections in the total space of the normal bundle. So, of course, uh, uh, C is regarded as the zero sections here. And this holds when uh, the self intersection is smaller than, uh, I think, uh, 4 minus 4G. In the case of a uh, rational curve, it is, uh, it is even better. Huh? The In fact, um, we have the same picture uh, whenever the uh, self-intersection is uh, non-positive. Then, uh, and okay. So the case um, negative is a more famous theorem due to Groert. Uh, the case C square equals zero is due to um, Russian mathematicians, uh, which is uh, Savelev. Uh, so, Okay, concerning uh, uh, positive self intersection, there are uh, um, precise results in the case of uh, genus 0 or 1. So in the case uh, of uh, a rational curve, there is a uh, complete classifications more or less explicit in <laughs> some sense, uh, by uh, Savelev. Um, so recall that we are in uh, situations when the formal principle is satisfied. That is, uh, formal classification uh, coincides with the analytic one. Don't, uh, sorry. So there is no uh, problem trouble concerning the an analytic moduli space uh, inside in the fixed formal class. Uh, this is the same classifications. And uh, well, in fact, this classification has been uh, recently revisited by, uh, uh, in a more geometric flavor, by uh, Franck Loret and uh, Michael uh, Fayalouza. Well, this was uh, an advertising intermezzo for my colleagues. But, uh, <laughs> and, um, okay. And the case of uh, genus 1 has been uh, treated by uh, Yashenko. Ah, it's the same. It's the same, of course. <laughs> that's, not, that's not very constructive. It's a constructive way to use the blackboard. But, um, but I guess... No. Okay. 
<laughs> well, never mind. It's, uh, it's <laughs> Always have some problems with, with this, this kind of mechanism. Mm -hmm. It's not the first time, we'll, not the last probably. Um, okay, so uh, so what I have to mean. Okay, so um, oh oh, so I. I have uh, forgotten to mention the word by Yashenko. It's an important work. Huh? Okay. It concerns the case elliptic curves of positive self intersections. So there is a complete classification due to Yashenko. Um, and it is, it is uh, again, situations with the Formal principle all because huh? we are in positive uh, self intersections. So the the first so, so some of the simplest situations where the where the formal principle uh, is, does not hold or is likely to not hold is the case of elliptic curves of, of zero type elliptic curves huh? elliptic curves of uh, vanishing self intersections. And indeed, it does not hold in general. And, um, and it will be the situation that we will consider from now on. And uh, maybe the um, simple way, simplest way to explain this is to um, invoke the defect of formal principle, uh, principle uh, at the level of uh, the germ of uh, biomorphisms sorry, of uh, one variable. Um, So what I mean by diff C0 is uh, the group of uh, uh, germ of uh, biolomorphic transformations from C0 to C0. With a non vanishing linear part. And so to see this, first observe that uh, to such a germ, one can associate Canonically, a neighborhood of elliptic curves in the following way. Uh, that we call uh, so UF uh, C. So it will be the caution by. Uh, so C star Z, so equipped with the canonical coordinate Z by a uh, neighborhood, so the German neighborhood of the origin C equipped with the coordinate Xi. And I will question this product by the, the group generated by the uh, transformations, the following transformations which map uh, they, the xi to uh, lambda z. Uh, well, not, it's better to not, it's coordinate by w. 
which maps ZW uh, on uh, lambda z uh, f w. Uh, so, uh, what is lambda? So, this lambda is a complex number of uh, modulus different from one. So, if it defines the, uh, the modulus, the analytic modulus of the elliptic curves, which is fixed in this story. Uh, so, uh, so can this, with these notations, so the elliptic curves can be uh, regarded as. Uh, Zero sections, W. Uh, so, quotiented by the uh, contraction defined by uh, lambda. And uh, so, observe also, see, uh, observe also <laughs> sorry, <laughs> a big turn, that uh, <laughs> uh, we inherit. Uh, from this construction of a uh, neighborhood of, uh, of zero time neighborhood of eighty curves uh, well it's, it can be uh, so for instance uh, a way to see that is uh, to notice that uh, um, the horizontal foliations so the space defined by dw equals zero descends uh, to uh, to the quotient, okay? And on the quotient, that is the neighborhood of the elliptic curves, it defines the regular foliations uh, such that the C is uh, invariant with this foliation, okay? Uh, so in particular, uh, this produces a zero time neighborhood. Huh? In fact, uh, uh, we have the foliations uh, such, such that C is uh, the elliptic curves, uh, right, relating invariant the elliptic curves, and uh, the classical uh, classical argument: uh, the both partial connections of these foliations uh, induce uh, flat connections, the normal bundle of uh, C. Uh, in particular, the normal model of C has degree zero. Uh, okay. uh, but in fact, uh, among the neighborhood uh, of, of curves, uh, only the zero type uh, neighborhood are likely to support the foliations regular foliations uh, with the, the curves invariant. Okay. okay, so there is this correspondence for this injection. Huh? Well, in fact, uh, the, the set of neighborhood, the zero time neighborhood of elliptic uh, curves, it's much bigger than this, but. Uh, we obtain special type of neighborhoods. Um, okay, so for those people which are familiar with uh, classical constructions of foliations, and everyone is <laughs> in this room. Uh, this is uh, constructions of um, 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 a variety of neighborhood here by the classical, the so-called uh, suspension process which is uh, constructed from the representations of the P1 of the elliptic curves, C2, uh, on the group of germ of uh, C0. And this suspension process uh, produces foliations. <laughs> It's not difficult uh, to, to see well, when, well, at least there, there is a, an obvious direction, that um, if one pick uh, two German transformations, C0, uh, with the same linear part, uh, there are uh, Analytically or respectively uh, formally conjugated if only if the corresponding uh, neighborhood of elliptic curves are, are so. Equivalent.
Okay. And on the other hand, there are, uh, uh, there are analytic modulate space in the group of uh, diffeomorphisms of uh, one variables, uh, which can be very complicated. Uh, so let me do some recalls about this, uh, what I just say. Here are some recalls. Which concerns the um, formal or analytic classifications uh, when this letter exists in the uh, group of uh, germ of diffeomorphisms. Uh, so pick uh, one element, okay? Um, so there is uh, an obvious invariant, which is the derivative of f. And uh, bon, generically, uh, so uh, there's a nice behavior huh? uh, that is um, f is always uh, analytically conjugated to its linear part whenever this linear part of uh, modulus uh, different from one. This, uh, this is an old theorem which uh, uh, goes back to Cudding, I think. Um, but uh, things become more complicated when the modulus is equal to 1. So there are essentially two, um, uh, two cases. Uh, which are completely different one from another. So the first case is, is um, uh, when uh, if prime zero is not a root of unity, uh, so formally all behaves very well. Uh, That is, f is always conjugated to its linear part. So that means it's, that is uh, linearly conjugated to uh, rotations, irrational rotation. And uh, generically, it is, so, uh, it is also analytically the case. Uh, 
and so generically in the sense of a uh, major theory. Uh, that is, if you regard the linear part f prime zero as a complex of modulus one, uh, analytic conjugations uh, is a guarantee as far as we are on a certain uh, subset of the circle of uh, Lebeg, um, total major Lebeg. But uh, <laughs> there is uh, missing cases. Huh? which, uh, in fact, are related to uh, the frontline approximations. And in these cases, we fall into the so-called wild world of uh, small divisors, and the things uh, can be very complete, complicated. Huh? So uh, these kinds of uh, phenomena uh, um, can be traced back to Kramer uh, in the um, uh, first half of the 20th century, and has been more intensively uh, studied by Yokos and perez Marco. And in particular, there is no uh, analytic classification known. Okay. And as this uh, analytic moduli space of uh, element of uh, DFC0 injects into uh, the an analytic moduli space of a neighborhood of elliptic curves from the previous observations, one can expect, uh, in general, a complete analytic classification classifications as a such neighborhood, okay? And it seems uh, really uh, out of reach. Okay. So, it remains the case of uh, the case when f prime zero is the root of unity. Well, uh, we we'll only recall what occurs in the case where f prime zero is equal to one. The, the, the case which is the root of unity is uh, rather similar. Uh, so, for f prime zero equal one, and uh, of course I will suppose that f is different from the identity. Uh, so there is, uh, well, even uh, the formal level, there is, uh, there is uh, classifications, non-trivial classifications. In fact, uh, F is uh, conjugated formally to uh, or some certain uh, formal normal form, which I will denote by FK lambda, so it depends on two parameters, where, so k is a positive integer, and lambda is a complex number. So for instance, uh, fk f01 z is uh, simply uh, so the homography uh, which uh, maps z to z over 1 minus z, okay? Uh, and the other uh, form formal normal form is rather similar to this one. And inside each uh, uh, formal normal form, th there is a huge moduli analytic spaces, but which is uh, totally understood. In fact, in the, in the 80s, a great deal of attention has been focused on the analytic classifications of uh, such objects and related objects like a certain germ of uh, singular relations in C2. So these are fundamental works by Eka, Le Martine Ramis, Malgrange, uh, Voronin. And uh, the best way to introduce these classifications is by the orbital one. In fact, the an analytic uh, is the same as the uh, analytic structure of the space of orbits. Mm. Uh, so for instance, in the 
concerning the formal a normal class determined by 0, 1. And the analytic moduli space is uh, determined by the uh, two copy of the Riemann sphere um, that we glue by uh, biolomorphisms uh, so phi zero and phi infinity uh, at the origin of zero and uh, at the origin of uh, infinity. Okay, uh, so. You must be aware that, uh, bon, roughly speaking, this uh, huge uh, moduli annelike space is uh, parameterized by um, with a comparable uh -huh. the data of two germ of diffeomorphisms, but in general, uh, is parameterized by uh, diff uh, c zero to the power. Okay. So here again, this produces a huge moduli space for, uh, and by the previous correspondence, for uh, uh, zero type neighborhood of elliptic curves. Okay. Same problems, exactly. <laughs> so it's not obvious. Okay. On the other hand, uh, for generic uh, zero time neighborhood, a generic zero time neighborhood is indeed uh, analytically like linearizable. Uh, this is a celebrated result of Arnold. Uh, so if when consider um, embedding, the type embedding, the curves, uh, such that the normal model of uh, NC is uh, not torsion, which is already a generic condition. Then automatically, uh, the neighborhood is uh, formally uh, linearizable. And moreover, it is uh, well, generically, uh, analytically uh, renderizable. Mm -hmm. And the uh, generality is uh, well, correspond to the to us again in the full. Uh, uh, Lebesgue measure in the, in the Jacobian curves of C, which in this setting identified with C, uh, and is related to the Fontaine conditions, uh, uh, which are, of course, very closely related to what occurs in the case of uh, the, uh, the biolomorphisms. So this result is due to Arnold. And the, the missing case, the non general case that uh, related to the examples that uh, I have given uh, before, but there may be again uh, other complicated examples. So, um, uh, and, uh, okay, so there is no hope to obtain uh, full analytic classifications. 
So there is some work to do in the case of um, torsion land bundle, a torsion uh, normal bundle. And uh, but first, first natural question is to investigate the formal classifications in case of the normal bundle is torsion. And uh, this has been done. And uh, Formal classifications is due to uh, uh, Franck Leray, uh, Olivier Tom, uh, myself. Uh, so I will not uh, give an explicit set of normal form, but um, so we, yes, I should precise that it also concerned the, uh, uh, so it is setting the, the class of NC is fixed in the Jacobian variety. Mm -hmm. And uh, it avoids the fiber case. In, fi in fact, the fiber case, when a C fits into the fibration, is uh, rather easy to set up. And the result uh, is uh, that the set of formal analytic classes uh, depend on three parameters, say k, lambda, p. Uh, so k is a uh, is a positive integer which is uh, precisely called the weather type uh, of the curves uh, so weather type uh, refers to uh, fundamental works of uh, the japanese mathematician uh, tetsuo weather in the 80s uh, we are still a zero type neighborhood of, uh, of curves and so I will not enter in further details in the definitions of K, but uh, so things that we are in the not fiber case, the weather type case is an obstruction to the existence of vibrations. And the K uh, means that uh, this obstruction is detected on the K plus one's uh, uh, infinitesimal neighborhood. Okay. And the lambda is a complex. And what is P? Uh, so P is a polynomial of uh, one variable of so degree uh, less uh, smaller than K. Uh, well, Okay. Well, for instance, it's, uh, um, is P uh, is uh, identically zero, is equivalent to the fact that the neighborhood uh, admits uh, a vibration transverse to C. Okay. But in general, you must think that there is, there is no vibration transverse to the, uh, the neighborhood, even formal. Uh, and what characterizes uh, so the set of uh, representative of, uh, formal normal uh, conjugations is the following fact, important fact, that is that the corresponding neighborhood, which I will denote by U, K, uh, lambda, P, C, uh, uh, 
are characterized by the existence uh, of a pencil, say Ft, of uh, regular convergent foliations. So such that either uh, Ft is a tangent to C. So C is Ft invariant. Or uh, either um, uh, this foliation is uh, completely uh, transverse to C. In general, there are uh, at most uh, one foliation uh, in the pencil uh, which fulfills these properties. Uh, and uh, in general, this transverse foliation does not exist uh, because of the previous remark on P. Um, OK. And conversely, uh, if uh, the neighborhood of C, um, UK, Lambda P support a foliation, so formal foliation, a priori, uh, which satisfies uh, one of these uh, properties. Uh, this foliation indeed fits into this pencil. In particular, is convergent. Okay? So, so this describes an, uh, all the reasonable foliations which can uh, exist in the neighborhood of, uh, of C. Okay, so I will now address the analytic classifications. Uh, uh, and it is a, well, I don't know if one can call this a result, but uh, uh, well, it depends on the amount of um, um, of precision needed, but <laughs> well, it's a work in progress, <laughs> anyway. Um, it is a re result which is due to uh, uh, Franck Loret. Uh, and uh, Mignon de Voronin. OK, so we fix, so recall that we are in the case with uh, non-fiber and torsion. Huh? So normal bundle is torsion. Well, of course, uh, the, uh, the class of the normal bundle is a Jacobian variety, is formal invariant. And uh, we fix a formal class determined by k lambda uh, p. Well, I will express it a formal class, which is indeed the fundamental example. And I will give a very vague uh, statement and uh, try to convince you that it is uh, well, <laughs> more precise statement. Uh, but, uh, this is the following. But which said that the analytic uh, on the light space the space of analytic uh, conjugacy uh, classes uh, uh, inside a fixed formal one uh, is uh, well, it's at least comparable, <laughs> it's parameterized by um, four k uh, copies of. Um, the product of Fourquet copies of the germ of uh, bilomorphisms of C2, 0. Uh, uh, fixing the axes. We do not here by this. You so you can imagine that uh, such a 
biomorphisms, uh, such that germ of biomorphisms uh, writes as uh, f x y equal to x u1 y u2, uh, where u i and uh, u1 and u2 are units. Okay, so. Um, So where does it come from? Um, so, it, so it can be understood, I think, on the more elementary formal class, which is k equal 1, the other of 0, so that I'm proceed to describe now. In fact, uh, this, uh, this elementary uh, formal class has, uh, underlies a quite beautiful geometry. Uh, which cor namely corresponds to the simplest uh, but non-trivial instance of a Riemann-Hilbert correspondence. And uh, so, so let me describe this. So what is uh, u1, this is the fundamental example. Well, essentially, the other one derives some offer from this one. So u100, zero zero, so is the neighborhood obtained from corresponding to a uh, transformation f, where f is the uh, uh, transformations which are described previously, so the more uh, elementary transformations so with uh, of one variables, which is tangent to identity, uh, except the identity, <laughs> uh, which is f w equal to w over 1 minus w. And if one performs the following uh, change of variables, what will be more, uh, uh, more easy to deal with uh, variables. Uh, that is, if uh, one regards the uh, elliptic curves at infinity, uh, this neighborhood uh, reads as um, cautions C star by the germ of neighborhood of infinity in the Riemann sphere. Uh, by the map generating by uh, this uh, sem semi hyperbolic uh, automorphisms, which is which maps Z psi to uh, lambda Z psi plus one. In fact, well, there is a very simple normal form, and uh, in fact, there is a very huge uh, <laughs> uh, space of moduli, spa moduli uh, analytic space attached to this uh, normal model. So, as I said, is, it is uh, related to global geometry, so geometry on global surfaces. Because uh, simply, because uh, uh, U1, 0, 0 uh, can be uh, regarded at the germ of neighborhood of uh, so elliptic curves, which uh, corresponds here to the sections at uh, xi equal infinity. on by the, the rule surfaces the, determined by the, the same formula, except that uh, instead of uh, taking the germ of neighborhood of infinity, we take the wall uh, Riemann sphere. Okay.
Aj, tam sa okej. So let us let us uh, describe C uh, briefly describe C. So if, uh, S uh, S sorry. So S is a world surface of a C, and uh, one can see uh, before of this formula that S minus C is an affi bundle of a C with fiber C. And uh, uh, this space, uh, this uh, algebraic uh, affine bundle is known to be uh, algebraically the uh, uh, moduli space of flatline bundle on C. That is, uh, this space is constituted by the, the pair L delta L is a degree zero line bundle and the nabla is a connection, a holomorphic connection on L. <coughs> uh, so, so to see these things that uh, this is an affine bundle of a C, so a point of C represents a line bundle, uh, the same that uh, the Jacobian variety of C, so it represents a line bundle of degree zero. And the fiber, which is a C, it is a space, the affine space of connections over this uh, prescribed uh, line bundle of degree zero. Okay? So it's exactly this space. And in this setting, we have the Riemann Hilbert correspondence. Um, So uh, this Riemann inverse correspondence correspond uh, is the so start from S minus C and uh, so uh, S minus C is a space of connections to connections which can attach to this uh, monodromy uh, and uh, so monodromy map yields uh, isomorphisms between uh, this. Uh, uh, S minus C to uh, the variety of characters, that is the, uh, the space of representations, the pi 1 of C into C star, which is naturally isomorphic to the product of uh, two copies of C star. Huh? We can even explicit uh, the isomorphisms. Huh? And it turns out that these uh, isomorphisms, in, so in the coordinates uh, Z xi is uh, given by um, uh, exponential 2 i pi xi, uh, Z minus 1, uh, exponential 2 i pi 2. So the tau is the, the, the modulus of the uh, elliptic curves. So, so if we regard these elliptic curves as the quotients of the C by uh, lattice. Okay. And what is only an analytic correspondence, uh, but uh, not uh, an algebraic one. Well, indeed, it is a common feature in the general setting of riemann hilbert correspondence. And uh, so also, we have natural structure of uh, algebraic groups huh, on these both spaces. And uh, well, this corresponds to a famous example due to Ser of uh, two abelian algebraic groups which are uh, uh, analytically equivalent, but not, uh, not algebraically. Okay? So the first one uh, is an extension 
Also the Chevalet decomposition of the first one is in extensions of C by the additive group C, whereas the second one is uh, simply a linear algebra torus. Okay. And uh, so, okay, a few minutes. So we come back to the. Um, setting of neighborhood of additive curves. So the relationship is the following, that is pi induces a sort of level of neighborhood of uh, an isomorphisms between uh, u, uh, 1, 0, 0, uh, between the deleted neighborhood of uh, elliptic curves because uh, because of the exponential, there's, 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 no, there's no reasonable, reasonable way to, to, uh, to extend the exponential, which is a trend towards natural functions to see. Uh, this in, induces uh, um, uh, isomorphisms between the delta neighborhood, u1, 0, 0, minus c, to uh, the deleted neighborhood of uh, uh, the natural compactifications of uh, C star times C star with uh, standard coordinate uh, x and y. So for instance, you, you, you may think that uh, P1 times P1 is the natural equivalent compactification for this group, and S is the natural one for uh, the, this one. <laughs> okay. And pi in use um, an isomorphism between the deleted neighborhood uh, of C and the deleted neighborhood of uh, uh, D, where D is the uh, boundary divisors uh, that uh, we obtain when passing from this, this one to this one. And we uh, consist in the union of four lines. Okay. So, so it's better, in fact, in view of this uh, correspondence, to see uh, u uh, one zero zero as the neighborhood of four lines. So, uh, this is the good uh, point of view, I think. So on the right hand side, we have this neighborhood. Um, And um, on the left hand side, we have our neighborhood 1, 0, 0 of C. And we may think that uh, the neighborhood of uh, D has the, um, the more simple neighborhood of uh, uh, a cycle of uh, rational curves with zero self intersections. Okay? And uh, so I'll finish in a few seconds. And uh, if you uh, so, if you consider, if you draw a general picture, uh, so we consider uh, arbitrary neighborhood of uh, four lines with zero self intersections. So the so neighborhood of each uh, individual line uh, does not change because, because by Savalev's theorem, uh, neighborhood of uh, zero type rational curves are trivial. Uh, so this is a product of uh, this rational curve by a disk. So the, the difference of complex structure in general, huh, a neighborhood of a cycle of rational curves, is encoded by gluing co-cycles, which are located here.
So in general, if one take an arbitrary uh, neighborhood of um, rational curve with zero self intersections, is uh, isomorphic, donc uh, uh, yellowmorphically equivalent. The model neighborhood ici, uh, aquí, uh, ah non, uh, here, oh, yeah. uh, mixing language, and <laughs> with, uh, with uh, uh, gluing cocycles which encode the uh, new analytic structures. That is the, uh, the elementary neighborhood, but twist by this cocycle phi. Which, uh, so there are four cocycles. Okay. So, roughly speaking, the set of complex structure of this uh, neighborhood of uh, rational curves with zero self intersections uh, is parameterized by four copies of uh, of uh, this guy, which is here. I diff uh, of this one, okay? And in fact, this growing co-cycles corresponds to uh, sectorial surgeries on the level of U10. Sectorial surgeries by uh, germs of uh, sectorial bialomorphisms, which uh, are um, flat to identity along C. The fact, the fact that they are flat to identity does not change the formal class, but modifies the uh, analytic structure neighbor. Uh, this, is, this is the, the reasons uh, why uh, we have this results, in fact. So the result could be reformulated in the following way. There is a one-to-one -one correspondence of between uh, the analytic structure, f structure of possible neighborhood of a uh, cycle of uh, four rational curves with zero self-intersections. And um, analytic uh, type of neighborhood, uh, zero type neighborhood of elliptic curves, which are formally conjugated to U1, 0, 0. Okay. So I will stop here. So, sorry. For <laughs>